Hey everybody. Welcome to We Love Katamari. Cause I do love Katamari. Clark is uh, still out of town unfortunately, but before he left he was nice enough to download this totally real, not an emulation game for me to play. I'm gonna make sure that that's not too loud. It's kinda loud. Let's see how it sounds compared to my voice. Yeah, I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. Okay, how's that sound compared to my voice? Sorry to do this, guys. It's I tried to do a sound check earlier, but it was kind of quiet music in the first menu. I think that's all right. The nice thing about this emulator compared to uh, the the N64 one that we use for like Majora's Mask Randomizer is that that one you'll probably notice if you watch our playthroughs anytime we click off of the window to like fix OBS or something it uh, unfortunately um, pauses the emulation but this one for some reason the emulation keeps going even if I go to a different window, so that's nice. I like that. Bold yet sensitive and rugged to boot. Tolerant and compassionate with a heart deeper than the oceans. Such is the great cosmos, and the king that rules over it is marvelous to behold. Except for the one time that he destroyed he quite all the stars in the universe. <laughs> no big deal, really. Having come to and realized the folly of his ways, the wisest of kings sent to the planet Earth his beloved son, the prince, and commanded prince. him to make a katamari of... That's what I call my Roomba. Because my Roomba also rolls around the floor and picks up random shit. Tossed unceremoniously to earth, the valiant prince ruled the Katamari entrusted to him by the king. Rolling up more things than you can count. Vaulting boxes. There's a lot of things. Pencils, erasers, postcards, ramen, robots, cows, sheep, this girl, that boy, moms and dads, bicycles. Felt kind of bad for all those things. The sentient ones, anyway. But eh. They got to be stars, so who can really complain, right? The prince rolled them all up, rolled and rolled until the Katamari was big enough to be lifted up to space to replace the shiny stars that were so grievously lost. And that, dear friends, was the plot and purpose of the fabulous game called Katamari Dabrasi! Its popularity recognized no boundaries or borders, and it rolled right out of the game to bundle away the many and sundry ills that blight the modern world. Overnight, the king found himself a superstar. The adulation of the crowd knew no limits. I want to meet the king! I think he should be bigger. The king is so cool. <laughs> He's got his own fan club now. Such a chorus. Fans crying out from all over the world for the magnificent king to do his thing. Wow! Wow!
That time he got wasted. Yeah, I'd imagine it would be feel like a dream. I can't tell if the prince is excited or if he's like flapping his arms as a way to hover in the air. I guess Earth just loved getting rolled up into a ball to make a star. Yes to all. Yep, that's obviously it. I mean, what else would it be? You want me to show them your chin? Sure, that makes sense. the tutorial? I guess I have to do the tutor tutorial. Oh, I guess I could have said no. Oh well, whatever. I'll just do the tutorial real quick. Your Highness is cool! Cool.
Katamari. I am so smart. Thanks, Dad. Okay. Do all the things. What else do I have to do? Can I put out of this? I shouldn't roll up my cousin. Seems mean. Okay. Come here. Got him. How you doing? Oh yeah, congratulations. You excited? What you gonna do, uh, once you're free? Gonna chill for a little bit? I know you're applying to, like, internships and jobs and stuff. But also, it's kinda nice to have a break. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, you know. Gotta make that moolah. But I remember when I graduated, I also had to, like, immediately go to an internship. 
and I was kind of bummed out because I kind of wanted to like just relax for a little while. <laughs> yeah, the week would be nice. I also hope you get that week. But I also hope that you get a job soon. Best of luck. If you do have some time off, you should come visit me in Clark. Do a stream with us before he moves. Come on down. See, this is how you can. I heard that you can like be other characters, but I like the prince. I might switch uh, if I get a different cousin. No, well, thank you. I love you too, random citizen. Sure. You just gotta compliment him, and then he'll do what you want. He's like the judge in Ace Attorney. Um, actually, no. Don't tell anyone, but this is on an emulator. I wish it was out on the Switch. I hope they put it on the Switch. I imagine they will eventually. Yeah, this is the second game. Yeah, I haven't played this one yet, so I really wanted to. Um, so Clark downloaded it for me before he left. And I've like heard that people like this one better than the first one. At least in terms of like the mechanics and stuff are a little better, I think. And that you can uh, play as the cousins and stuff. So I wanted to give it a try. Ooh, Flan. I want Flan. Oops. Oh, 
No, I don't know if it's like the um, the way the emulator responds to the controls or something, but sometimes I'm feeling like I'm a lot slower than I should be. Like I'm pushing the sticks all the way forward or backwards sometimes and it just like does not move very fast. Oh, I got another cousin. Nice. I feel like I'm going very slow for some reason. Which is not ideal when I'm like on a time limit. <laughs> oh, I did it. Wow, that's a great date that I want to have. I love the prince's little victory bounce. It's really cute. Oh, my Katamari is so... So many mosquitoes, big. Clark's out of town? Not really. I made a pot roast because it's easy and gives you a lot of food. And also Clark isn't a huge fan of it, so I don't make it too often. I just actually finished uh, the last of it for dinner just now. But it lasted me like four meals, so that's good. And I also got uh, salmon from the grocery store that I made with broccoli. That was pretty good. Now my parents are supposed to come in town tomorrow. They were going to come like a couple weeks ago for Mother's Day, but they had car trouble. So they had to delay their trip. So now they're coming uh, tomorrow instead. Hopefully they won't run into any more issues. And while they're in town, we'll probably go to some restaurants and stuff. So that'll be nice. I did treat myself today though, because um, my company where I work they have like a food truck come a few times a week. It's not sponsored or anything, like you have to pay for it yourself obviously, but um, it's nice and convenient and today they had a lobster roll truck that comes in every, every once in a blue moon. And it's expensive, but it's so good, so I treated myself. Oh, you can make him skip. That's cute. <laughs> I 
Hey, King Dude. You're so relaxed and cool, lounging around as usual. Your Highness is the best. The best, you say. <laughs> big enough for that. Are these like ice cream cookies? They kind of look like it, but tiny. Like ice cream sandwiches, I mean. But they're small like cookies. Or like square Oreos? I wasn't paying attention to what it said at the bottom of the screen that they were. <laughs> sandwich. I want a cookie sandwich. I'm trying to move faster. My dang controller ain't doing it. Wow. Rude. They're just, they're just shuriken here. Does a ninja live in this house? Is this Naruto's house? Where's Sasuke? Some verbs. One of the problems with playing this game is that, like, because I'm trying to see everything, I forget to blink, and then my eyes get all dried out, and then my contacts get blurry. Well, maybe this is Sakura's house. Or maybe they all live in the same house, huh? OT3, ever think about that? Yeah, exactly. Got a remote control. Try using the TV now, Naruto. You can't. Oh, this kitty is stuck. 
Porky. Excuse me, come through. Eh, I can't see. Am I supposed to go somewhere from here? This is where he said to go, right? Oh, here, there's a hole. Ah! Got a lollipop. Some recorders, and... Is that a goose playing, uh... Some sort of instrument I didn't see? <laughs> Gonna ruin this picnic here. Ooh, only giddy. Don't mind if I do. Man, I want to watch the new Fruits Basket. I was waiting because Clark said he was interested in watching it with me. But then he left. So I haven't watched it yet. But I'm interested to see how it is. I've seen like gifs of it and stuff. It looks like like the the animation is nice. Come here. Do you ever watch or read Fruit Basket, see Dewey? Yeah, it goes so slow sometimes. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. No? It's a good series. Um, it's like a classic shoujo, which, you know, if you don't like shoujo, then it's fair that you might not be interested, but it is good. Um, it's very, like, heartfelt. It starts out kind of typical shoujo, but as it, um, like, as the story progresses and you learn more about the characters, it becomes a lot more, I guess, in depth. And pretty emo get, it gets pretty emotional. I enjoyed it. That said, I read it in like middle school, so I don't know if I watch it again if I like it as much. But I like read the ma whole manga. And I have a nostalgia for it. <laughs> Block her. Yeah, exactly. That's the correct answer. <laughs> Honestly, there are a lot of like really popular anime that I didn't really care for. Like, I never got into Naruto or One Piece. I sort of got into Bleach for a minute. But then I got bored after a while. Um, I had trouble getting to My Hero Academia, which is like the big one right now. Which is weird, because like I thought I would like it a lot more, because it has a lot of elements that I like. Because I love superheroes. Um, but, uh, I don't know. I just couldn't... And it's really, uh, it didn't grab me. There are, like, certain characters in it that I like. Like, um, there's this one character, um, Kirishima. And, like, I didn't even get far enough in the anime to really get to know him very well. But I've seen, like, enough stuff of him from just, like, osmosis through fandom and stuff that I love him. And he's, like, my favorite character. <laughs> Thank you. 
SMA is the best anime. Brotherhood, at least. Yeah, like, Fullmetal Alchemist was one of the first anime slash manga that I got into, and to this day it's still my favorite. I have not found another one that tops it for me. No, um... He's the guy with, like, red spiky hair, and he can- I think his power is he can uh, make his body turn, like, into rocks or something? So that he's basically indestructible? And he becomes best friends with the main character who can explode stuff, who's, like, the bully who becomes good, Bak uh, Bakugo. And also I ship them. It's kind of funny, I, uh, when I first watched, I watched like the first season, and in the first couple of episodes I wondered if I would ship Bakugo and the main character, um, Midoriya, because they sort of had that, um, rivals kind of thing, which I usually like, but, uh, I ended up not. I ended up shipping Bakugo with Hiroshima, and, um, the other popular ship with Deku is the fire and ice guy, which I think is cute. I think his name is Shoto. If anyone's watching this in the future who is who likes My Hero Academia, I'm sorry if I'm getting stuff wrong. <laughs> I like I said, I know most of my info through like osmosis, just because I f a lot of people that I'm in fandoms with are also in that fandom, so I see stuff from it. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> it's possible. I didn't uh, really think about it. I've oh, never done a level underwater. That's cool. All I know is that he's very, like, energetic and happy, and he's like... I don't know how to explain it, but he, like, he's like... Um... I guess the the comparison I think of is if you ever watch Haikyuu, like, Nishinoya and Tanaka are all, like... What? What happened? Is this good? Do I like this? Let me go. Let me go. Hey, there's a merman. Um, they sort of have the same sort of energy of like they love being manly, but not in a way that's like annoying or toxic, you know. In a way that's wholesome. Yeah, I also didn't get far enough to really know a lot about, um, uh, Shoto, but I know he's a fan favorite. From what I can tell, he looks a lot like anime Zuko, and you know, for the record, Zuko is not anime, because Avatar is not anime. It's just anime-esque. Um, but... Uh, from what I know, he basically is just anime Zuko, <laughs> which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but he's got a similar sort of backstory with, like, his dad, like, a sort of abusive-ish dad. Probably not quite as bad as Fire Lord Ozai, but he's, like, I think some big hero who demands perfection or whatever. <laughs> Wholesome manliness. Pretty sure that's a uh, good shonen in a nutshell, or at least um, things typical shonen, I guess. Technically, Fullmetal Alchemist is shonen, and I don't know if I'd call that wholesome manliness, except like Armstrong. <laughs> There's wholesome manliness in it. I'm still having this issue of like 
I'm pushing the sticks, but he's not moving very fast. Come here, fishies. Got a big ol' octopus. Um, one shonen that did grab me, and I watched like the entire thing, even though it had a lot of episodes. Um, and it was like extremely typical shonen, like full on Dragon Ball Z type. Like, oh, every arc, we think it's the worst enemy. And we gotta train and learn, unlock new powers, and then we fight him. And then next season, oh, there's an even bigger enemy. We gotta train and learn more new powers. Um, so it was like super shonen, but then in a way that like kept my interest still was uh, Katekyo Hitman Reborn. Um, I got into that because my best friend in college, Melissa, that was like one of her favorites, so I tried it out and I liked it. It has its issues, like, it unfortunately uh, has the common problem a lot of shonen do of the female characters aren't very good. They're sort of just there. <laughs> Like, it gets worse as the series goes on somehow, because, like, even the few female characters who initially are, like, badass, later on, they kind of end up, like, in Dragon Ball Z, where the characters who used to be badass now just sort of sit around and are just there. So that was disappointing. And the surprising thing is, Katakyo Hitman Reborn was, uh, the manga is a woman. So, you'd think... It would have been a little more uh, female friendly, but alas, it was not the case. I'm so close. There we go. I'm getting some rocks. Um, but despite that flaw, the series itself was pretty good. Um, the art, I, li I really like the art style for it. Um, if you ever watched Psychopaths, it's, the art for Psychopaths is done by the same uh, mangaka. I don't think she wrote Psychopaths, she just did the character designs or something, but that's her art style. And uh, Katekyo Hitman Reborn, um, another, another caveat of it though is that it's very, it's a very slow start. Like, the first 20 episodes are sort of just a lot of character develop- or, I mean, character introduction and comedy relief. And actual plot doesn't happen until, like, episode 20 or something. My friend told me about that, go so I knew going in. But if you don't know to, like, keep going and that it gets really good later, then it is a very slow intro. I did it. Uh, but like I said, once once it gets going, it gets going. Like, you are on the edge of your seat for a lot of the action. And the main character um, has a pretty good character development throughout the thing, because he sort of starts out as like this kind of wimpy, wimpy guy who feels like he can't really do anything right. And then he like, slowly over the series, develops into a badass. And it's done in a way that's pretty good. So if you ever feel kind of like watching the new uh, shonen that's extremely shonen and kind of turn off your brain sort of show, but it's still like very entertaining. I would recommend Katikyo Hitman Reborn.
The animation is also really good for when it came out, because it's a little bit older. I don't remember when it came out, maybe earlier 2000s? Maybe a little later? Um, but it looks really cool. And the pa their powers are pretty cool. It also kind of does well that thing of like the enemies eventually become friends with the main character. Um. <laughs> well, oh, poor guy. Um, from what I remember, it's been a while since I watched it, but from what I remember, usually I think once they defeated like the big baddie of the season. They, like, um, sort of, the, the main character would sort of have a heart-to-heart -heart with them, and they would become allies. And it's done in a way that's, uh, that's relatively realistic and not just like, oh, okay, sure. <laughs> Where's, uh, where's my save? I want to save the game real quick. Thank you. Sure. I'll help you. <laughs> Got him. Another anime I've been wanting to watch is uh, Carol and Tuesday. It's on Netflix. I've heard, heard good things. Too big. I've also been wanting to check out, uh, I think it's called Dorororo or something, or maybe it's just Dororo. I was, I'm used to saying Durarara from, you know, Durarara. Um, I don't know much about it, but it's again one of those things where like I see it a lot on Tumblr from people who I follow who like other things that I like. So you'd think there's probably some overlap. This music is very chill.
Notice you can climb steeper things in this game than you could in the last one. Which is kinda nice. supposed to go now. Oh, okay. I see. I didn't real. I was like, wasn't. <laughs> I guess paying atten close enough attention uh, to what I, the actual goal of this level was. Thought I was just. It was just a normal level. Yeah, I just stole your kid's shit. I'm not getting it back. It's gonna be a star now. How would you feel, audience, if some little alien prince or whatever he is showed up and rolled all of your stuff that you had laying around on the floor and made it into a star? I know I'd be a little peeved. Thanks, Clark. You gonna go say hi to the president? I don't, what what is it though? I don't understand. Do I didn't I already have this? Is it a bigger one? Oh, okay, it's a bigger one.
How was your flight, Clark? Not nice. Which Pokemon did you play? This feels dangerous. doing this thing again where like sometimes I'm really slow for some reason I made a lot of celestial bodies in my day go faster You don't know what I do in my free time when you're not around. I like how the prince is wearing like a VR headset. Oh, I thought you were, like, making a joke because of what I said earlier. Is this a thing? Like, uh, there's multiple levels where you have to make a celestial body? Or are you asking how many I've done in this level? Because the number is in the corner, it says five. <laughs> oh, I've never been called a sultry tart before. Are you like an old British dude? In olden days? Can't find any more freaking celestial bodies. Oh. So should I like... Just uh, quit out then. Farewell. Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sensual. This Animal Crossing. Ah, if only this game was on a Switch, then I can make an Animal Crossing on a Switch joke. Too bad. So many flowers. Get back here, you coward. Is that tingle? Back here. Is that a centaur? L'amour. bear down here. I wasn't super paying attention to what the goal was in this level. Is it just to get to 1 meter and 87 centimeters? And 7 millimeters? Or is there a gimmick in this one?
many flowers as possible, probably. Yeah, that seems likely. Power Katamari. Like I said, in this game, I like, I'm concentrating, and sometimes I forget to blink, and then my contacts dry out, and then everything goes blurry. It's very annoying. <laughs> oh no, his hair! Not his pompadour! No! Wrong! Got any big plans while you're in DC, Clark?
Oops. Yeah, exactly. Pretty sure I learned that in school. Squid, yummy. Ah, oh, these guns are pointing at me. this up? Yes. are like stacked like that. You can just get a bunch of them. Good thing I got an air fresher to go along with this dung beetle. Go down here. And they make climbing so much easier in this one than the first one.
Now I'm lost. Ow. No. I'm just going to ruin this farmer's crops. Here he won't mind. Who's leaving their shoes out here? I don't know if I'm going to make it. Ow. Might have fucked up that time I fell down. <laughs> Ichigo could no.
I'm that cousin. I have to be bigger to get him. Come here. Got him. Have some sea urchins. Not big enough for these bananas. I mean, all this food out in the street. I read it.
Now we did the underwater uh, level already. I don't know if there's any more. I hope so. That one was cool. Get out of here, burb. That's where I came from. What are you doing tonight, Greta? I shall add a burb at some point. Out of my way! I'm rolling here! Got a calico cat. Got some more calicos. Doing pretty good. Big pair. There's the burb. Excuse me, sir. Did you see him busy? Get in my Katamari, everybody. Aw. Oh, dang. I mean, are you gonna 
Tell the king of the cosmos, sorry. I can't, uh, can't do it. Because earthling legality. You missed that my dad is shooting laser beams at me now. Um, I'll try this level one more time, and then I might call it a night. It's getting a little late. Well, you missed part of it. Ow. Rude. Yeah, that's pretty late. but I'm starting to get a little bit of motion sickness from this game. Which is weird, because I never had a problem with the first game. I don't know if it's... Because I'm playing it on the little TV? You wouldn't think so. You'd think that would make it less likely to get motion sickness. Maybe. Maybe the real re reroll version has like motion blur or something. I don't know. Either way, after uh, this level, I'm probably gonna call it a night. Especially since I gotta do dishes. My parents are coming to town tomorrow, and if there are dirty dishes in the sink, my mom's gonna criticize me. And that's no fun. I shall.
banana banana na I didn't see these pumpkins before. to throw the game in the garbage. Wise words. Alright, kitties. Why am I just making these trash bags like fly around and not picking them up? That seems weird. Ow, rude. Watch where you're driving. Yeah! <laughs> 
I like these guys that are like doing sit-ups while they like run or whatever they're doing. Hey guys, what's up? Okay, that guy definitely ran into me. That was not my fault. Never heard of it. Okay guys, thanks for hanging out. Uh, that's gonna be it for tonight. Um, I don't know when Clark or and or myself will stream next. Clark will be back in about a week. Um, like I said, my parents are gonna be in town so I probably won't have time to stream for a little while. But I'm not entirely sure how long they're going to be in town. Um, but we'll see you at some point next week. Probably. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he wants to do that. Yeah, um, if I get the chance, I'll try to stream some Splatoon for you guys. It's been a while since I've done that. Um, but like I said, I'm not sure when. Probably sometime next week. So, I'll see you then. Bye!